Well, hey everyone, how are you? This is Renee Michelle Floyd. And today we are going to do, we're going to, well, we're live, right? First of all, but we pre-recorded, Bria and I, we pre-recorded the uh, actual makeup session so that it wouldn't be so cumbersome, right? Um, and so she came over and she did her thing. I tell you, you all are going to love it. So we, I'm going to share my screen with you of the actual raw, raw live um, recording that we did as she was uh, doing the tutorial. She's talking through it. I'm asking her a lot of questions. And so I wanted to get your feedback, um, but we're going to watch the video first. And then she will join us for a question and answer if you have any questions, and then she can answer them. Um, it's supposed to be a fun day, right? And so um, so I just want to make sure that um, everybody is good, um, that you will know what to expect. So I'm getting ready to share my screen, and then um, we will be joined with Bria at the end. The video uh, is probably 40 minutes. Um, but it's interactive and she goes step by step so that you can see exactly how she applies the makeup for my mature skin, right? Now, today I just did my own little thing, my very lightweight uh, makeup, but you will see um, the difference and you will see how she applied um, the various uh, makeup and her strategy and her uh, skill in... Um, and doing so. That is her uh, profession. She's a professional makeup artist. And um, so Deborah uh, Lawrence Wilson uh, suggested that we have something fun like this um, that we can do together to um, just do something different other than just hair. And so I agreed and I got Bria to come in and help me out with this. Um, we had a lot of fun. And um, and so I'm just excited to go ahead and get started. Let's see who has joined us. And uh, then we're, hey, Debbie, how are you? I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Real quick. Hey, Renee. How are you? I'm doing good. <laughs> good, good. All right. Bria is, I guess, on her way to getting on here. What we did was we pre-recorded um, the session and um, and so it made it, it will make it go so much smoother. She goes step by step. So I'm going to share my screen uh, and play the video so that you can see everything that she did and how it all came out. Today, I have, I've done my own little makeup, you know, my little lightweight makeup that I do, but you will see the difference. Um, we had a lot of fun. And um, and so I'm going to share my screen because this is Sunday and I know everybody is busy. And I hope everybody makes it here, uh, you know, in a timely fashion, because I like to start on time. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Right. So did you have any questions before we get started? No. Okay. I just thanked you just before you logged on for, <laughs> you know, suggesting this, uh, this fun day, this makeup day, right? You were the one that uh, inspired and uh, suggested that we do this. And so I agreed and here we are today. And All so right. I'm going to show what the results are. And then at the end, we're going to entertain questions. Hopefully Bria will be on here by then. And then she will be able to, and then yeah, because you're, you're an esthetician now, and I'm sure you would have some questions and also, we hope that she gets on. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Oh, let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I always forget. Is share my screen here. And uh, so we're going to go here. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me uh, move this out the way. And whoop, oh, my goodness. Let's see. Hi. Okay. Now. All right. So can you still see me, Debbie? Yes. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. All right. Great. All right. I'm going to go ahead and enlarge the screen. Going to push play. The video is probably about 40 minutes and, uh, but she goes step-by-step. Step. It's interactive. So here we go. <laughs> 
doing an intro. <laughs> okay, yeah. Hey, y'all. We are finally here. Um, Miss Bria is going to make me up. She's going to um, put some beautiful makeup on. Um, this this uh, tutorial is for the mature woman, right? As we age, um, our skin ages, and we can't wear makeup like we used to, at least in my opinion, I don't think we should. Um, you know, so we just want to be more classy as we get older. And so she is going to make me up and let's see what it all turns out to be. So Bria, can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to do? What, what brand of makeup you're going to, um, use? Okay. So okay. I have some AJ Crimson. Okay. As you can see, this is the foundation that I choose to use. Um, there are some other pros that like to use it as well. So that's what okay. I'm using. Uh, of course, we're going to moisturize and prep before we start. I uh, have various brushes out. Then, of course, with m more mature ladies, we like to do more of a matte eye. So I have some matte shadows here. Mm -hmm. And we'll do some blush just enhancing and a nice lip and all right that'll be what we're doing today yeah because i like to just be as natural as possible so i don't want to look like cakey you know no i got you i got you <laughs> okay okay so okay first thing like i said we'll start with skin prep okay. so i'm going to moisturize you first okay. my hands are clean so sometimes i do put product on the back of my hand okay my hand looks crazy afterwards but you look amazing so <laughs> no worries are you going are you going to have the uh this the uh name brand the brands of the yeah, products that, that you or just show it the camera what it is okay yeah. so emberlay yeah. moisturizer it's okay. really good universal okay all right so that's what i start with you can okay. either use your fingers or brush mm -hmm. your choice okay. skin prep again is the most important mm. part of the makeup application mm -hmm. a lot of the times you can look cakey because you don't prep before oh okay yep okay and you can also put sunscreen on underneath your makeup mm. but since mm -hmm. you'll be inside today we won't do it today <laughs> Ooh, that kind of tickles <laughs> <laughs> as long as it's not hurting you. no it's not hurting right. it's just tickles yes of course <laughs> So do you do this instead of like washing your face or you do this and as in addition to washing your face? Yes, you can do it in addition with washing your face, mm -hmm. but of course um, you don't want to over dry it. Mm -hmm. uh, if I had a client who may not feel like their skin is as fresh, you can definitely use something like micellar water mm -hmm. and that's a gentle cleanser right before you put on any. And of course, I want you to feel comfortable, so let me know. Mm -hmm. Preferably nothing. <laughs> you're allergic. You're not allergic to anything. No, I'm, I'm not. Mm -mm. Cool. And I I really just, my makeup, I can put my little makeup on in like 15 minutes. Okay. I mean, hey, with <laughs> speed, I can do I can do something in 15 too. I'm just saying, you know, I don't, mm -hmm. so I don't typically wear a lot of makeup. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how it turns out and um and if it's something i can do mm -hmm. yeah for sure <laughs> you know because i mostly wear makeup when i'm on camera gotcha. you know when i'm doing my tutorials or mm -hmm. going live sometimes sometimes i'm i'm totally natural no no mascara no mm -hmm. nothing right so gotcha understandable yeah all right so we've done skin prep the next thing is going to be eyeshadow primer and skin primer okay like I said, I will go back and forth in between brushes and okay. my fingers. Okay. Eyes closed. And this is primer? Mm-hmm. Okay. Make sure that your eyeshadow is not creasing. It has mm. a foundation to sit on top of. Oh, okay. And with mature skin, you don't want to do a whole lot of tugging and pulling. Mm-hmm. So padding works really well. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Cool up around your eye. Now, who else do you work with? What is your, what do you, is this something you do full time or? As of August 1st, I will be full time. So. Oh, yay. <laughs> yes, I work oh. with Brandy Stage Portraiture. Okay. Um, doing the hair and makeup behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And I'll be learning all that I can learn from her. Now, what is it, what is it that she does? Like, how would, why? How are you going full time? Like, do um, she have like a show or what? What kind of? So right now she's working on a fifty and up. Oh. Um, I don't want to say a showcase, but essentially that or like a portfolio uh -huh. um, of mature women, and she sets up the appointments, and I just come and I glam them. Oh and wow! I That's stay awesome. and I help, and yeah, it's been a really great experience. That's well, so good. And you're out of where are you from? I'm from Gulf. Go for it, Mississippi. Go for it, Mississippi. Yep. Coast girl. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So this is your skin primer. It is. It has charcoal in it. Mm. So of course, when I put it on your skin, it's not going to be black. <laughs> the first time I used it, I was like, oh my gosh, why does it look like that? But okay. Yes, it's the charcoal. Okay. It's the charcoal. Mm -hmm. And that will absorb into my skin? Yes, ma'am. It's okay. good for oil production. Mm. Well, you know, absorbing any oils. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. Of course. For mature skin, I'm more of a matte look okay. kind of girl, mm -hmm. and that's just because you don't want to make anybody look oily or okay. greasy. Will that make the wrinkles enhance when uh, it's no. not matte? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you can. Your preference, of course, is what's important. Mm -hmm. Me personally, uh, especially for portraiture, mm -hmm. matte looks work. Best. Matte looks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And she she's doing this fifty and up for what is it again? It is for a, eventually it's going to be a big book. Oh. Um, so volume one should release, I think, the end of January. Okay. Um, and there's going to be a really big celebration of, with it. So mm -hmm. you know it'll be really fun to mm -hmm. get to see everybody that's gotten to be a part of this big book. Yeah. Book. Wow. Any women of color? I haven't done any women of color yet. Uh oh. I'm hoping Come on you now. can be my first. Yes. Put, so, put my name in yes, there. We need to yes. see some color. Yes, yes. The color <laughs> and some locks. Yes, so. indeed. I'll <laughs> represent. Yes. Sister Locks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. So, all of our skin prep is done. I'm okay. going to move into eyeshadows. Okay. Um, And then, you know, the application just moves through pretty okay. quickly. Okay. All right. So, do you have a preference on eyeshadow color um today? i i like the gold you know the shimmery okay yeah. okay um and i i love pinks okay you know like uh and the and the gold okay yeah. all right so you do have blue on today oh okay you know i could have <laughs> uh you know changed this top maybe i should have changed my top no it has oh. brand new on it oh yes yes, yes. Really okay okay. okay yes so yes. whatever you whatever you think i, okay. I just like the the shimmery color gotcha. but okay. if that's not what it goes well then no oh, of course okay any kind of gold is going to be a really great neutral to go okay. off of so i could pop some of that on okay all right so okay. first thing i like to start in the crease of okay. your eye uh-huh and let's see so a nice transition shade mm -hmm. we're going to make sure we don't have a whole bunch on. so start in the crease mm-hmm first you lay it down and then you're going to work in small circles mm. right through here, making sure nothing is unblended. Okay, work work in small circles. Mm hmm Okay. All right. So could you pull it real way? I just. All right. So eyebrows start on the tail. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fill that in and create more of a shape. Mm. And to keep them from looking real blocky, I work on the bottom. Do here, kind of push that up. And just play with the shape. 
and then we will soften that front go back push up until we get what we want okay that's the eyebrow easy peasy didn't take a whole lot looks mm -hmm. nice and natural mm -hmm. all right and then we'll go in here and conceal mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right Okay. Wow, you have a lot of brushes, huh? Yeah, I'm going to get a better way to organize these two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so when I like to do underneath the eyebrow I like to use a real flat brush and that helps me to carve out what I need I only really like to do concealer underneath on the tail mm. just because you want to keep it nice and natural mm. so right through here and then we'll pull it down to soften Right. And the same thing will go on the other side. And then you can also soften with a little dense brush mm. through here. Just like that. All right. So We've got our transition shade down already. <laughs> so, just putting that back underneath. So how many colors do you typically put on the eyelid and eyebrow? So you can range from one up to Three is usually my max. Mm -hmm. um, I like to use a transition color, a lid color, and then something on the outer corner oh. to help give depth. Mm -hmm. So okay. me personally, my rule is three. Um, if you're trying to do something quick, of course you can use a nice transition shade from the crease down okay. and that'll get you in and out real quick. Okay. Yep. Okay. So got our transition shade. Okay. And then you mentioned wanting some gold. <laughs> so I will. Which one is your favorite? Um, I like uh, this one. Okay, nice choice. Do you like that? Uh, right here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. It so, has a slight hue of pink, it seems to ah, me. Ah, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I always go right to that. Yes, of course. All right. <laughs> so I have another flat brush, and I'm going to. My apologies for moving so fast. All right. <clears throat> So, right underneath the transition shade, you're going to drop it onto the lid. And like I said, you don't have to bring it all the way over because there's going to be something in the corner anyway. Mm. And while you're doing that, what is the easiest and best way to clean your brushes? And how often should you clean your brushes? Uh, I would clean them after each makeup application. Because, really? Oh, yeah. You want things to be sanitary. Mm -hmm. You don't want to create any problems for yourself. So definitely do it after each use. Mm -hmm. Now, you can get away with um, spray cleansers. Mm -hmm. You can use the spray cleanser, wipe it off really clean. But you do want to deep clean with uh, either a makeup 
brush shampoo or soap mm -hmm. or i like to use uh either dawn power wash by itself or dawn dawn, dawn the dishwashing mm -hmm. liquid? really antibacterial as well oh okay yep so oh. you don't want to get anything funky <laughs> in your eye by using anything that's oh. not antibacterial hmm. so anti uh dawn like the blue one mm -hmm. mix it with some olive oil that keeps the brushes from drying out oh wonderful yep Okay. And you just let them air dry? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Exactly. Let them air dry. Hmm. All right. So then I'm going to go back with that transition shade mm -hmm. and meet it up to that shimmer so we have a nice transition. And then I'll drop a darker color in the corner. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So there's a transition color again. Keep it nice and soft. And then I'm gonna clean my brush. Get stuff out. All right. And then right on that outer corner. So I'm just slightly darker, pushing that towards our transition color. Keeping it nice and neutral. All right. So did you wanna do an eyeliner or we could do a soft uh, eyeshadow liner? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you think will. <laughs> okay. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Let's keep things nice and soft. Okay. So I'm going to use some eyeshadow okay. just on an angle brush. Mm -hmm. And then you'll start from the outer corner. And work your way in. All right. So again, Miss Renee wants nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Eyeshadow liner works really well for that. Mm -hmm. All right. So the eyes done. We'll move on to skin. Oh, okay. All right. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to keep your eyeshadow from creasing. Mm -hmm. You can drop a translucent powder on top of it. Oh. Hmm. It doesn't mess it up. Okay. Let's see. So that's kind of just like an uh, invisible mm -hmm. powder type of... Yes, ma'am. It looks just like a little white powder. Hmm. Is that? Oh, okay. And hmm. drop that all over. Mm-hmm. And that will just blend into the... Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I will... Wipe it off mm. with the brush. And then I can go back in with that black rear liner. Just kind of stamp it in. Make sure it's not ashy looking. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'll be working on the other side. Mm -hmm. All right, so she has this eye. I'm assuming that it's nice. And so we're going to go to this eye. And once we're done, we'll be right back. All right, she has my eyes done. How does it look? I have not seen anything. So I'm assuming it's good. I'm confident that it looks good. <laughs> All right, so next we're going to move on to skin. Okay. So pretty much from here around is mm -hmm. where we'll put foundation mm -hmm. and then through here is where we'll lighten things up with concealer oh, okay all right okay. now when you do it just around how do you blend your forehead in you know from your hairline do okay. you blend that in yes you know because i've seen people that look like they, look, they literally <laughs> <You> got <draw. laughs> yes. yes no so you can either use of course a sponge i'm going to break this down okay um or you can utilize a brush mm -hmm. i like to use both um using both is going to make sure that everything's nice and seamless of course okay. brushes have bristles so you don't want to have those streaky lines yeah and okay. you also don't want to have like really patchy spots okay. with a sponge now can you use just a regular paint brush or what type of brush these look like some good brushes you have well actually <laughs> so you can actually get uh good quality brushes from either amazon or somewhere like shein um oh. this one i got i think from like walgreens 
Oh, but okay. you know, brushes are kind of a dime a dozen. Okay. So I replace them, throw them out quite often. Mm-hmm. So you know, mm-hmm. if you get a good quality brush and it doesn't hold up, you're gonna have to replace it anyway. Okay. So, okay. Eh. Okay. <laughs> you use what you have. Uh, All right. Some of these brushes are expensive. Uh, they are. They are. Like mm-hmm. I said, this one was one of my more expensive ones. But even with cleaning it, it's a little wonky. I okay. had to hot glue it together. Okay. So. <laughs> but it still works. It still works. <laughs> All right. So, of course, shade matching. I'm thinking hmm, probably a mix in between here. Mm. So, I'm going to pull some with a little spatula. Now what, this is like a cream, this is the foundation, yes, right? Yes, I so. like a cream-based foundation. Okay. Um, I know there are people that like to use powders, but more makeup artists use creams cream. than anything. And then put powder on? Mm-hmm. Okay. Powders are more just set. Okay. All right, so drop it in here. And of course, makeup oxidizes. Of course, you spread it out, so it's not gonna be as concentrated mm-hmm. when you initially put it on mm-hmm. you have this beautiful rich complexion mm-hmm. you want to enhance it mm-hmm. not make it look any other kind of way Lay it down. Mm-hmm. I go in with a sponge and push it into your hairline. Mm. Oh, okay. That's how you blend it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then press it forward and make sure you have a soft blend. Mm-hmm. You want to blend into your neck. Mm-hmm. more and there are some people that are concerned about if makeup breaks them out mm-hmm. it's more so with brush cleaning oh really mm-hmm. oh brush cleaning making sure your skin's clean after the fact mm-hmm. please don't ever 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 sleep in makeup oh my god that's a big no <laughs> no big one a big no no <laughs> mm. because i noticed that and i know for a fact that i don't boy when you said br- uh, clean your brush mm-hmm. every use oh mm-hmm. my god well that's why it's also good to have multiples Oh, the multiples, okay, okay, then you don't okay. have to worry about have every to single use. <laughs> so I, you know, because like I said, I don't usually wear makeup, you know, on a normal. I just, when I'm on camera, mm-hmm. sometime. Okay. And um, the makeup, I know, now what, if, okay, so let me finish my thought. So I when I put the makeup on, look like an hour or so afterwards, my skin, my eyes start, it seem like they getting um, irritated and, Cause I put it all around here, mm-hmm. and you know, and I use the L L maquillage. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Um, now you don't always have to go that far, cause okay. uh, you can also put eyeshadow right under here. Okay. And if you don't go all the way up, you kind of have some space in okay. order for you to, I guess, let your skin breathe or let that area breathe. A little powder doesn't hurt it as much as like something with chemicals as oh. far as foundation goes. Okay. But yeah, um, and then certainly my eye, the mascara, I I use that over and over, so I don't know if that I need to change. How often should you? Change? Yeah, um, usually <laughs> on certain products they'll have like it. It looks like a little container and a number on it, and that container gives you the amount of time that it expires. Essentially. Oh, okay. so if you had some mascara or some foundation for a long time yeah you might need to check it especially if it is giving you problems like that yeah so okay make sure that you're restocking that you're checking your dates 
throwing things out when they need to be thrown out. I know a lot of us want to hang on yeah, to things. Yeah, I mean, I, so, I don't use it that often, so. <laughs> well, that's also another thing. Maybe rather than buying the full size, you buy travel size. Oh, okay. So, okay. you know, if, you know, it's not being used as often, mm -hmm. you don't have as much to use. Yeah. Okay, so, good. Getting rid That's of stuff. Good. Yep. Yep. All right. So, right mm -hmm. through here, we're going to mm -hmm. clean that up. Okay. So, I don't want to do super, super light. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop something close to your skin tone just to kind of brighten it up. And now, and this, uh, this is, what is this one called? This is concealer. The concealer. So you put that on because typically women, mature women have, like I have, that's my eyeglass, you know, where I wore my glasses. Mm -hmm. And so it's dark there. Yeah. And then we have rings under our eyes. Mm -hmm. So that's why you need concealer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even I at 31 have to use concealer. So mm -hmm. don't feel any kind of way about <laughs> having to use. See, so mm, okay. it's quite a few of us using concealer. Okay. I thought that that was just because to cover up, but it's to brighten your face as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, cosmetically or medically, no, it's not changing anything, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it is enhancing those areas. Okay. I kind of want to change the color though. Okay. So I know you can't see it, but I'm not going all the way underneath your eye mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with this. Okay. So, like I said, that could be an issue as yeah. to why you have a little irritation. Okay. 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 And then I want to drop just a little bit lighter of a color right through there. All right. So I'll have you open your eyes, mm -hmm. look all the way up. All right. So I'll use the smaller side of the blender. Mm -hmm. and I'm just going to tap. And that smaller corner is going to get a little closer. Mm -hmm. So you tap, tap, tap. Bring that down to meet your foundation. Mm -hmm. Right through there. Let me know if anything feels uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. That's good. And again, mature skin, we don't want to pull. We want to just tap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure we are being as gentle as possible. All right. So not only are we brightening up here, mm -hmm. we're going to do a little brightening around your nose and mm. on your forehead. Oh, okay. Yep. Because those areas can also get a little dark. Mm -hmm. So although this seems like a, mil a million steps already, <laughs> I guess if I was to do this more often, mm -hmm. it I can just mm -hmm. get it done in no time. Huh? Yep. Okay. Not only that, you can kind of alter your routine mm -hmm. based on what you need. Okay. So this does work for, you know, you can maybe take a couple of these steps mm -hmm. if you're trying to get in and get out. Mm -hmm. So like just concealing underneath the eyes and making sure it's blended really well, you can do that and just go out without mm -hmm. having to worry about a bunch of steps. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, adding some mascara and eyeliner mm -hmm. that okay. could enhance something mm -hmm. in a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to put uh, powder or foundation on every time. Right. Mm -hmm. You can definitely customize it to your needs, mm -hmm. but like I said, skincare and making sure everything is sealed in properly, which we'll get to, that's going to make or break your mm -hmm. application. Okay. And how do you clean your face after? So more recently, they've been saying that you should use cleansing balms, which I have used, but you want to make sure you... Uh, get all of that cleansing balm off and then use a cleanser to get everything out. So when you go to dry your skin, there shouldn't be anything on that towel. Okay. So, like I said, a cleansing balm is going to get all of what you have off and then you want to take care of your skin afterwards with a cleanser. Now, clean, what is a cleansing balm? Cleansing balms, uh, pharmacy. The brand Pharmacy has one. Okay. Clinique has one. Um, and it just looks like this little 
kind of like a grease. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. Yes. Okay. So you, you know, scoop some out, you apply it all over. It's okay. going to look crazy. <laughs> but then, you know, you can take like a, a paper towel or a regular towel and just wipe everything off as okay. best you can. And after that step, that's when you want to make sure you cleanse with a, you know, a skin cleanser. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Because right now I just use black soap on my face. Um, I'm, I've heard black soap probably isn't the best. Really? I mean, uh -huh. I've been using it for years and then I put aloe vera gel on my face mm -hmm. and then I just use shea butter. Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm, okay. You know, but yeah. I'm here to learn something new. Yes, of course. <laughs> my esthetician friend told me that I shouldn't use black soap anymore. Oh, really? So I don't. Okay. Yeah. And I also think, doesn't it have like particles in it? It's, it's from my understanding is made from uh, palm ash or something like okay. that. And, uh, and then they use, uh, you know, um, shea butter mix mm -hmm. in with it. Okay. So it, I like it. I mean, yeah. I used it and I enjoyed it, but of course you have to think about, um, those things that they use in it, those granules or, um, anything that's gritty, that's just tearing up your skin. Okay. So then yeah. how I, okay. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So foundation is done. Okay. So honestly, the next to the last step can be setting your face as far as making sure you have a setting powder all over, mm -hmm. um, and a blush that would keep it nice and easy. Um, rather than it being so made up. Yeah. And then of course a lip. And what about the eyelashes? Oh yes. Yeah, I got you on that. <laughs> My fault. I told you. Sometimes I'm running through a mental uh, checklist. Yeah, I and, don't. Uh, I don't really. The the lashes, you mm -hmm. know, the false lashes, the mm -hmm. glue always seem to. Uh, I'm sensitive to that. Okay. So when my eyes start watering, I just... <laughs> yeah, you don't have to. You can definitely use like a really good mascara, um, tubing mascaras. Mm -hmm. They kind of like cover your lash okay. and that helps with extending them to give them the illusion. The illusion. Yeah, I'd rather false. have the illusion. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, yeah, just get you a good tubing <laughs> mascara. Okay. All right, look up with your eyes. I'm going to get right under here with that eyeshadow. So it's not super heavy like a foundation is all right so we're tying everything together okay all right that next step like i said is going to be a setting powder okay you want to make sure you tap off the excess mm. okay all right so we'll get underneath that eye Kind of tap it all over and blend it out. Then when I use um, what do you call it the, on the cheeks blush, blush mm -hmm. is very light. Okay, you know it just just give me a little. Yeah, color to, want to you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't Make like. Make you look alive. Look like I have apples. Right of course, here. of course. <laughs> and I don't think that just because you're older, you need to wear dark makeup oh, on your eyes. Not. Yeah, you know, to me yeah. that makes you look older. Mm -hmm. You know, and also um, a lot of people like to put like really dark. Yeah, eyeliner. right in there. Yeah, it just makes everything small. Yeah. So, okay, is my eye. Is it uh, watery? Is my under here? It looks like it, is but it? it hasn't. Oh, it hasn't. The tear started. hasn't fallen. No, ma'am. But I'll oh, okay. give you this Q-tip, and okay. you can catch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did that get it? Because it felt like it was wet. Okay, I think you're fine. All right. So the dark eyeliner is that makes you look older, and it makes, like you said, make it everything look small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I feel like the eyes are the best feature on people's faces. Okay. So of course I do spend more time on the eyeshadow. Okay. Um, like picking really good colors, making sure everything's transitioning really well. Mm -hmm. Um, so of course, why do all that hard work and then put a black eyeliner <laughs> on to make it look smaller? Right. So okay. I'm not a fan of it. Okay. But okay. you know, everybody has their preference and sometimes we do things out of Habit. I don't have it. And that's because that's all we know. Mm -hmm. You know, we go back to what we know, the comfort zone. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to use 
not a whole lot because you can build blushes. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of the times you're gonna see me wipe things off. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I like to work from here, up and around. Mm -hmm. So again, you won't have those apples, <laughs> but it's gonna work with your face shape. Here, around. This also helps with blending. Okay. As far as transitioning from those foundation mm -hmm. colors. So I like that tip where you said just buy multiple brushes. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to worry about washing out those mm -hmm. brushes every day. So that's good. I have a friend. Honestly, I've done her makeup multiple times. Mm -hmm. And that's what she does. She buys a new set each oh. time. I don't think she's ever cleaned her brushes. <laughs> okay. Yes. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> mascara. All right, so um, I'm gonna get you to look right at my hand. Okay. All right, keep that right in there. And this is how I do mascara. And of course you can put it on the bottom and the top mm -hmm. as far as the top, I mean up here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you don't do the bottom lash? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But like when I was explaining about the tubing, mm -hmm. you don't wanna just tube on the bottom side of those top lashes. You kind of want to get the whole lash. Oh, right. Yep. Okay. Hmm. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. All right. And I'll get you to look up with your eyes all the way. And that's enough mascara on that brush for all. Mm -hmm. right. As long as it's not dry, yeah, you should be good. Okay. I am not left-handed, so <laughs> this feels awkward. Mm -hmm. Big look down here. Right. I know I have short, cor curly well, you are eyelashes. Fine. <laughs> you are just fine. Okay. I'm going to go back in with that eyeliner. Close your eyes for me. Get to as close as I can. Sometimes with mature lashes or with mature eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of miss a spot. Okay. You gotta go back in. <laughs> okay. So lip. Do you prefer a color or a neutral? Here are my choices. Okay. So I have some stuff in here. And then I also have I have different liners as far as red goes but we kind of have this is a nice color that one yeah would that go with my skin tone i think a cooler red a might cool, be best for cool what we have going on <clears throat> um, and i have a liner for that so okay give me just a second sure oh, step behind you all right all right and then I'm enjoying this, y'all. I tell you, ah, if I can get this down to 15 minutes, that would be great. <laughs> All right. Oh, but I, if everything feels comfortable, I don't feel any stinging or burning or anything. So is this makeup like for sensitive skin and all that? It's good for sensitive skin. Okay. As long as you don't have any allergies, mm -hmm. like... Uh, Allergies to silicone. Mm hmm. You should be good. Okay. I do like to ask, mm -hmm. but 
so far. Everything's being geeked. Okay. So we line the lips, especially with a red. Sometimes reds bleed. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep everything kind of in a general area. Mm -hmm. And you can also go all over the lip with that lip pencil. And that kind of gives you kind of like a an area left over because mm -hmm. of course we do eat and we mm -hmm. drink mm -hmm. and you want to make sure everything stays where it needs to be mm -hmm. but of course we can't always control it so putting on a lip liner all over helps with that and i noticed you actually lined my lip mm -hmm. not underneath because I usually do draw around, you know, mm -hmm. the, the crease of my lips. The only time I really do that <laughs> is if I have somebody with smaller lips. Of course, oh, okay. we, don't we don't usually need, need to. <laughs> so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get you to drop your mouth slightly open. Like that. Just oh, like that. Yeah, like that. <laughs> okay, and then sometimes with reds, mm -hmm. like I said, you have to clean them up. So with that concealer brush from earlier, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in, clean up a spot. So. Can you drop your mouth open just a little bit? Thank you. All right, and then pat, pat, pat them together. Yep. All right. Let's see. One more time. Okay. Good. How you feeling? Good. You look gorgeous. Do I? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. I do, Kyra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me get you a mirror. Okay. And let you see. Well, here's a mirror right here, behind here. Oh, I didn't know you had one. <laughs> oh, oh, you yeah, go ahead. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my hair down, and then we're gonna do a glamour shot, you know, and all that. Oh, okay. Is it a good O? Hey, yeah, that's okay. a good O. You like it? Yeah. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, I'm not used to having, well, to me, it's this much. I, I'm very uh, light, but this is nice. It's not too gaudy or anything like this or anything like that. Y'all like it? <laughs> All right. All right. So now, once I take my hair down and put a little earring on, then I will show you the finished look, um, how Miss Bria did. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. I how do I look? I think I look glamorous. I like the look. I'm not too gaudy looking. Um, she did exactly what I asked, and that was to... Um, have it as light as possible, but still look a little made up. So I am very pleased. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And um, in the description, I will have all of Bria's information, um, how to get in touch with her. And I thank you so much, Bria. You're welcome. Yeah, come on over. Let's take a look. <laughs> yes. All right. This is Bria Fowler. Okay, and she's here in Gulfport, Mississippi. So um, thank you so much for no your problem. time and for doing exactly what I wanted. No problem. <laughs> I look forward to working with you in yes, the future. Yes, yes. So, you know, we can learn and grow together. That's right, that's right. All right, you guys, I hope you liked it. Thank you, Kyra, the videographer. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Bria, for making me look beautiful with your makeup skills for the mature woman. Thank you, Kyra, for your videography skills. And thank you, Deborah, 
for suggesting that we do this fun makeup tutorial for our club members. For more information, get in touch with us at beautifullocksclub.com. All right. All right. How are you all? Hey, Bria. <laughs> all right. Elaine. Oh, my. Elaine is on, too. Everybody unmute themselves. Let me see your beautiful faces, Elaine. Your beautiful face, Elaine. Bria, thank you so much for, how did you like the video? <laughs> it turned out really well, considering I came in late because I had technical difficulties. <laughs> That's Forgive right. Me. I was working behind the scenes trying to get her in, you guys. I tell you, this is Debbie uh, right here uh, with the long locks. She is the one that inspired and encouraged us to uh, do a makeup makeover for the mature woman, right? So I well, she just said a makeup tutorial, and I added the mature woman, right? Because <laughs> <most of us. laughs> but she's the one, and she's an esthetician. She just passed her boards, and so I know I uh, she may have questions for you, and also I definitely want to give her the opportunity to ask you questions. And uh, so go ahead, Debbie Elaine. Um, I would <laughs> love for you to be a part of this as well, but just come on in when you get ready. Unmute yourself. Okay, go ahead, um, Debbie. You have any questions? Um, not a little bit. Um, um, Bria, it looks really nice. I, I thought you did a great job. I'm not a person who likes to wear a whole lot of makeup, so I th I thought that Renee looked really good. Thank you. Um, yeah, I typically wear um a tinted moisturizer. You know, especially mm -hmm. since COVID, mm -hmm. and you know, I'm not in the office every single day. So I typically wear a, tint, a tinted moisturizer. But for Renee, what was your rationale for not putting the foundation all over? I noticed that you put it oh, around yeah. the face. Yeah, what was your rationale for that? So there's not really a reason to put foundation all over, especially if you're going to go back in and put other products on top. Um, it's best for everything to have a place and an area for it to go so rather than going all over and then putting other things on top of it when they don't need to be there why waste product why waste time so you know just put things where they need to be and don't worry about adding extra to it sounds good That's yeah good are you an esthetician as well no, I'm a cosmetologist, um, okay. and my journey with makeup didn't start until I got to Ulta Beauty in 2018, I think. Nice. But, yeah, they didn't teach us very much as far as makeup went <laughs> when I was in cosmetology school. So my journey has been quite custom. Right. Yeah. That's uh, I was sharing with the group, too, that that's been my experience in school. You know, mm -hmm. they didn't. Um, I, I thought they would kind of teach it more and they kind of, she came at it as, um, from an um, area of assuming everybody already knew how to do makeup. And mm -hmm. I was, very, I was disappointed in that because I wanted to really learn. I wanted that to be my opportunity to learn. And right. she came at it from a standpoint, if you were at Macy's and, and, and putting someone's makeup on, mm -hmm. you know, you were supposed to already, she just came, it was very small. You know, she spent most of our time facials on facials so okay. you know the, she only put like a week or two <laughs> and, and and makeup so I feel like I'm gonna have to probably supplement that like you mm -hmm. also or just you know they have makeup little makeup schools maybe I'll go mm -hmm. there for a couple mm -hmm. weeks and burn myself you know yeah that's essentially what I had to do um mm -hmm. I had an idea when I initially started school as far as like oh it's gonna be like this and they're gonna teach me that and like you said, makeup was probably a week. Um, <laughs> men's haircutting, maybe like two weeks. Or it was just like, oh, here's a mannequin. Go at it. But right, exactly. I, a lot of it, you don't have enough skill. It's more so like, let's get you that one answer that you need on the test. And we're going to move on. <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. Completely understand. Yeah. Is that right? So you basically self-taught. You bait. You learn, well, what is it that you learn 
<clears throat> and about makeup, what is the main thing that you learn about makeup then? Well, it's changed. It definitely is ever evolving. Um, when I started at Ulta Beauty, the eyes were like the biggest part of the makeup. Um, lots of colors. Um, and for me, the time that I would play would be on like the weekends because it was required. <laughs> okay. Um me on the everyday, I don't wear makeup. So that was when I played. Um, but like I said, eyes was the most important part, but it was really just watching them to see what steps they did. And if I had questions as I was doing it, I had to kind of discreetly do it. But I mean, it's kind of kind of routine. If anything, I try myself to make sure that it's custom to each person as far as like eye shapes are always going to be different. Um, jaw lines are always going to be different. Um, but yeah, the majority of my education came from Ulta. And as I've learned, uh, just picking up different things, there was a makeup artist here um, that I really admire that I'm going to be continuing to learn from. Uh, right now, she works for the NFL in California for like their media team. Mm -hmm. So I was at Ulta. I had that education. Uh, she had like some group classes. I did that. And then more recently, it's just been kind of figuring out my style and then adding those different tips that I might want to add to m what I do. So it is kind of self-taught, but I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, it's your own artistry. And of course, people are going to book you based off of what you do. Right. So, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. Any more questions, Deb? No, no, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Well, I enjoyed, you know, I just, I really appreciate you coming here and just playing on my face. You know, mm -hmm. um, I typically don't wear, this is the most I wear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is how I look uh, with just the El Maquillage and like I was telling you, and so it's okay. super light, you know, super mm -hmm. light. Um, and, uh, but I've done photo shoots with, you know, cause my daughter is a makeup artist as well. Like you say, it's your own artistry. Mm -hmm. And so yes, if people like your artistry, then that's, they want that as well. So you, obviously you're doing something right, um, <laughs> you know, because you're going full time. Yes. You know, that's <laughs> awesome. And you have a good gig that you got, uh, mm -hmm. under your belt. So that's an awesome thing. You know, um, I definitely will hire you again. Um, especially if <laughs> we do you. the, especially if we do the photo shoot with the, with the lady that you're going to be working with, mm -hmm. you know? Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's just a matter of hit and miss. A lot of stuff I know how to do is self-taught as well, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? So mm -hmm. it's, and it's just bringing your creative side out. And mm -hmm. like you say, figuring out what works for you and your client. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so to me, you know, you did what I asked. I didn't, I have had heavier makeup. So compared to how I look now to what you did, that's heavy for me, but <laughs> it's not, I've had heavy makeup and I don't mm -hmm. like the heavy cause I look older and looks gaudy, you know, mm -hmm. and also um, I like what you did. You know, um, it's, I typically don't wear makeup either, uh, every mm -hmm. day I'll be on live and I'll look, you know, uh, naked faced, right. <laughs> but I, you know, and so most of the time I'll just put a little mascara on cause my, my eyelashes are even gray. <laughs> you did Some mention of that. Them. Some of them are gray. You know? <laughs> my eyebrows yes. are gray. So I'm just like gray, right. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you did a fantastic job. I appreciate your time and and all. I know that if you had problems with getting in, that's what I was doing, was trying to help her to get in this community. Then I know there's a lot of people that was trying to get in. So I'm glad that I made, that we did the video. Mm -hmm. and so I will be making the video public so that people can really see it and uh, figure out how to do this community. I'm still learning this community. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, I'm just, I'm just grateful. So I thank you so much, you know, for, for, you know, doing this. Um, I, I know that healthy, good skin, um, is, comes from, um, 
you know, a good diet, you know, your mm -hmm. drinking habits, your eating habits, um, and then taking care of your skin, which is, uh, mm -hmm. we don't tend, I, I, in all my years, right, we don't tend to, uh, you know, put all the different serums and all that stuff on our face, like you heard me say, I wash my face with black, and I was going to, I wash it with black soap. And how mm -hmm. I do with that is I cut the black soap up, put it in a container, uh, mm -hmm. and then put water on it. So it's really mm -hmm. a liquid, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't get the, the grind. Particles. I know exactly what you're talking about. Gotcha. Um, I've been doing that for years. Um, and so I've, I've do that. And then I put, you know, I squeeze a little aloe vera gel all over my face. And to mm -hmm. me, that's like a, a, a foundation. And then I follow it up with shea butter and I'm yeah. good to go. <laughs> okay. I'm good I mean, if go. that's what, if that yeah. works for you, then why not keep going? Yes. It, you know, that's my daily routine, but like, you mm -hmm. know, like if I had to go out and work and, and be, you know, have to be made up every day and all that, I would adopt some of the things. Now I do like the tip that you said about the eyebrow, how you, mm -hmm. how you start at the bait at the back here and then you mm -hmm. the tip and then you mm -hmm. fill in. I said, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I can make my, <laughs> my eyebrows a little fuller, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah. And I typically use more bronzy brownish, you know, colors, um, mm -hmm. because black, even when I used to wear wigs, cause my natural hair color is a number four and, uh, it's a Sandy Brown. Okay. And, um, and so when I used to wear black wigs, I looked hard. <laughs> <laughs> so when I wear the lighter Brown, you know, the, the more color of my hair, I was mm -hmm. softer looking. So, yes. um, so yeah, it's, so we can definitely, uh, mm -hmm. like I said, we can definitely play around, uh, with the makeup and all, especially mm -hmm. if I get invited to this lady's thing Yes, you know, <laughs> to her, her, uh, event, you know, with the book. So. Mm -hmm. But but Debbie, so what when you were wearing makeup, what did you mostly like you say you have a tint uh foundation uh, a tint low? What did you say you put on your face? It's a tinted moisturizer. It's a little okay. um lighter than foundation. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And you you just put it over your face like that, or do you use it with a brush? Or how do you put it on? Um, I put it on with my fingers and I do tap with the um foundation i mean with the um with the square you know the, okay yeah okay. little pad oh. yeah and so do you put the eyelashes on or you do uh mascara i what do you like mean? mascara i mean i love long lashes <laughs> but i'm real self-conscious about um eyeshadow and it's just oh. me being self-conscious because there's so many colors out there yeah. i never know how to combine them you know so <laughs> I'm, okay. you know, I need to work on that. Okay. A good tip that I just recently learned, um, I got a uh, color Bible or oh. <laughs> dictionary. So it has like different color combinations inside oh. of it. So Very lately nice. I've been doing that. Uh, I got it from Amazon. It's but, called Color Bible, huh? Uh, It's a dictionary of color combinations. Oh, um, wow. I got Is that it also. for makeup or that's just color period? Color period. Oh, what is so it called again? A dictionary of color combinations. A dictionary of color combinations of color yes, combination. Oh, I like that. Yeah. So there's um like four sets of colors. There's two, there's three. Mm -hmm. Um now of course I've been applying <laughs> it to fashion, but I'm sure you could play around with it as far as um you know, eyeshadow would go. So, like, with a green, you can use browns as a transition shade and then pop your uh, green color on there. Okay. Or um, there's a time that I did green and gold. So, I did green in my crease and as a transition color um, and then did a shimmer, a gold shimmer on my lid. And that turned out really well. So, I mean, if anything, the only thing you can do is try it out. Um, make sure that you have a really good blend, but to be honest with you, half the time your anxiety is lying to you. So <laughs> you just got to try it and, and go for it. What you may think might not look great. It might, it might actually be a, a hit. So, you know, just at the least pick one 
and you can go all over your lid and make sure the crease is blended really well. So you when you say transition color, you mean to that goes in the corner in the crease. or oh in the crease, in that's the, the crease. transition mm -hmm. color. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you'll have a transition color, which is in the crease, a lid color, and then a color on the corner for depth. Okay. But it's not, like I said, you can, what I like to do, I range it from one to three. If I pick one shadow, then it's going all over the lid. If I pick three, like I said, crease, lid, corner. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. And so with the lid, because I noticed that you put uh color from here to about the middle of my lid mm -hmm. okay you did the 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 uh, crease then mm -hmm. you put the color from here to the middle and then you did the dark darker color on the that's mm -hmm. how you do it okay yes ma'am and if you use only one color you would put just that one color across your whole lid i would start in the crease just to make sure everything's blended oh. and then you tap on to the lid with that same color okay okay and then with the eyebrow, the to make your eyebrow lift a little bit, you just what that's where I use the, that. Uh huh. The foundation. That's where I use the concealer. Oh, the concealer. The concealer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then you just set that with a setting powder. Okay. So it's all it's nice and lifted. It's um already a lighter color, so you just okay. kind of bring it down to where that crease would be, and then kind of soften that with your transition color or that all over color and again the transition color goes in the crease yes ma'am okay all right okay wow <laughs> do you have any specific brands like okay for instance in your practice do you use the same type of and colors on darker skin as you do lighter skin or no. you have a whole different palette for the darker skin um, so I bounce in between a few. I just recently got a kind of a everybody palette most recently. Uh huh. Uh, so I got a Morphe palette from Ulta and it has warm colors and cool colors in it. Okay. Oh, warm colors uh, and cool colors. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Now, more recently, I've been doing more cool colors on Caucasian clients, um, warm colors for us. I don't know why as far as warm colors, but I, I love a good warm color. But for studio makeup, um, the photographer that I've been working with, she's been more on the neutral side of the color spectrum so of course <laughs> i'm working for her so i have to give her what she asked for um but typically for those shoots the majority of them have been caucasian and i usually use the same palette on all of them mm -hmm. um but like i said i have more i have more range now so if anything i can use one palette rather than <laughs> carrying around <laughs> three or four right 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 yeah, because I know that um, the warm colors work better for me. That's why I like mm -hmm. the more bronzy, not the metallic bronzy, but mm -hmm. more like the brown bronzy, mm -hmm. you know, um, because um, I had my color color coordination done uh, when I was selling the Sabella uh, cosmetics from Melaleuca Company. Mm -hmm. and they have the warm, the cool, and the neutral and mm -hmm. so the cooler colors go better with the whiter skin, mm -hmm. you know, the lighter skin, and the warmer colors go better with the darker skin. Yeah. And so I know that either, and and it really depends on the new the the tone of the neutral whether mm -hmm. that will even go with the darker skin. So mm -hmm. I need to fall on the new on the uh, warm side. And, mm -hmm. you know, it blends in well and, and all that, you know, so, because and then, yes. like I said, I don't, I'm not a big makeup wearer, but mm -hmm. uh, when I do wear it, I don't like to look, you know, gaudy and all that. So, yes. Um, so, yeah, I was just wondering, you know, if you have um, a separate palette from, uh, yeah. And of course, you know, the, the ladies that, that um, I've seen on your page um, are white women and mm -hmm. yes, they would use the co the the warm colors because if they, I mean, the cool colors because if they use warm colors, it's gonna make them look hard. <laughs> yes, 
I mean, yeah. more recently, um, I did do the July cover of Gulf Coast Women Magazine, and it was two African American women and a Caucasian woman. And I saw that. I, I saw that. Okay. I did the African American women. Um, and yes, they they like I said, it's usually more neutrals with them. Um, I did do probably do some warmer colors. Uh, but I did pop in a little green on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. snuck that in there. Yeah. But yeah, um, as far as brands go, uh, I love Juvia's Place uh morphe those okay. are two of the ones that i usually stay in um they're inexpensive you can usually find them at ulta okay. um sometimes they run a sale so mm -hmm. that would be more my suggestion and what do you think about uh these so yeah and what do you think about uh uh bobby brown brand um and uh, uh safari what is sephora safari sephora, sephora. Um, as far as a brand for eyeshadow yeah i mean just period like is makeup makeup and it's just you know putting their name uh on you know like their brand on something or is it like like why would why would bobby brown's makeup be different than ulta makeup is it, is it the same chemical makeup or I think they all vary across the board um I worked at both Sephora and Ulta and they have different products they carry different things um I mean I think if anything I guess ingredients and the way products work for you is where I operate. Um, there are some big brands like Tarte that come out of Ulta. Um, I'm not a fan of Tarte, and that's mainly because of the chemicals that they use in it. So mm -hmm. Sheila might say, yeah, you know, I live by this brand, and this is what I want to use, but long-term, me thinking about it, I don't want those problems. Yeah, that might be a great brand, but at the end of the day, I don't want the that commercial that comes up is like, oh, if you did this <laughs> in whatever year, uh, you know, you might be entitled to a claim. Okay. I have wow. no desire. Okay. Hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, listen, that's all the questions I have. Uh, Bria's information is in the um, corner, Renee's uh, corner. Um, and I think uh, well, I know it's going to be, it is in the description of the video I just played. Her phone number is there and her uh, social media, but just tell it to us again for the sake, because I'm going to, uh, this is going to be a replay for the club members. So just tell it to us again, Bria. So if anyone want to get in touch with you, they can. Yes. Okay. So uh, I am L Louise on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, you might have to put LLC behind it. Um, and L I, is spell what? How do you spell L, Louise? Oh, e L L E uh -huh. <laughs> L O U I S E. Okay, L L C at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. So you guys can follow me there. Um, the majority of my interactions are usually, or I post things are usually on my Instagram. I'm trying to do a better job. But considering, like I said, the majority of my work has been coming from the photographer and I'm posting after she posts because, of course, she has, you know, the actual images. A lot of times I have my iPhone 15 um, <laughs> <laughs> images okay. or videos. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, I mean, I know I have a job to do as far as the her photo shoots go, but seeing them, seeing the actual work, much better on her page than it is online. Okay. So definitely, um, if you're looking to have a great experience as far as feeling better about yourself um, in photos, having an experience where you can just play around with different uh, colors and fabrics and, you know, celebrate yourself, definitely contact me or uh, Brandy Stage Portraiture. Uh, she's on Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, all the women that we've worked with, they've had a great experience. And I mean, I want to keep giving that great experience. So definitely if it's outside of that 
L Louise LLC on Facebook and Instagram. All right. Great. Great. Thank you so, so much. Any more comments or questions, Debbie, before we end it? I'm good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Okay. Thank you, ladies. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elaine. I can't see you, but anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure that you are listening. And um, <laughs> this will be a replay in the uh, Renee's Corner. And uh, so any uh, any member that uh, didn't get a chance to be a part of this will be able to see this. So it should be up in the middle of, by the middle of the week. And uh, you all have a great rest of your weekend. Uh, and I will see you all around the net. <laughs> have a good day. All right. Okay, you all take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.